There's a lot to consider when choosing the perfect pet house, but why buy when you can DIY? Tonight, we're gonna show you how to make the perfect hideaway for your pets, and here to show us how is DIY expert and proud pet owner, Paige Hemis. Welcome, Paige. Thank you, thanks for having me. Well, something tells me you've got a lot of pets at home. I do, I have five pets. That's a full house. Two dogs, three cats, and then with our roommates, there's nine bodies living in the house, but you know what? It's a there's, lot of footsteps. There's, there's just footsteps all the time. But there's a lot of love. Yes. Now, we've got five pets, and they're crawling all through cr crevices yep. and nooks and crannies and things like that. Some of these nooks and crannies you've actually created yourself. Yes. That's yes. Beautiful. I've done a little DIY. So yes. instead of buying, like our audience here, you don't have to go buy. You can make it yourself. Well, let's find out how to make some of these things, because this is exciting. Everybody knows one of the things cats love to do is sleep, mm -hmm. right? A and, little bit, uh, yep. and, Well, pets in general just love to sleep. They can sleep up to 18 hours hours a day. So I think finding a good bed yes. or a good relaxation zone is perfect. Yes. And yes. you know cats, they love to jump up and they love to be a little bit higher. Right. So I'm literally getting something we have around the house and okay. turning it on its head. Well, I'm this turning looks it upside beautiful down. as it was. Now you've added a whole bunch of accoutrements here. It yes. looks amazing. Okay. So this was a bedside table. Okay. Um, and we have the before picture. So okay. just, you know, kind of boring, kind of nothing. Right. So what I've done is I've taken off the hardware and added my own little frilly hardware. Have you added these? Yes. And then turned it upside down. So this was the top. This okay. is now the bottom. Okay. And we know that when cats jump up, they love to jump, they love to scratch. Sure. But they're also going to make like a big wave. Okay. So you want to stabilize your base. If we kept this on the wood floor or the carpet, it wouldn't be that stable. So what I've done is added bun feet. Ah, these are called bun feet. These are called bun feet. Okay. Yes. And what you need is a top plate. You can get this from your local hardware store. And four of these little bun feet, they come in a variety of sizes. Sounds now, simple enough. Can you hold this for oh, me, please? Oh, I can definitely do and that. I'm going to swoosh around here, and okay. all you do is add these. It's going to get a little loud. There like we go. That. Whoops. I like that. All righty. Now all you need to do is screw in the top of that bun foot. All right. So it's good and tight. Yeah. And then what I did on the top was right. add a little kitty bed. So uh. if you can, your large muscles, well, you can please, help me. There's zero muscles here. Uh. Oh. Okay. So what I've done here is I've added a kitty bed to the wow, top. this is plush. It is plush. This it's is like, really nice. You know, it's like moving up to a, a top floor apartment. I'd say kitty. this is penthouse material. I mean, this penthouse. is amazing. Yes. Plush, it's high up. Cats are going to love this. Yes, so and we have all the directions for you guys. But if you want to know how this is done, all you do is take a screw and a washer, drill that in, and then a little hot glue, <laughs> and... It makes it Perfect. look pretty. Obviously, as soon as you make this, make sure you supervise your kitty cats so they don't eat this or ingest this. These little ribbons, sometimes cats like to play with it. Otherwise, I think this looks amazing. And check yes. this out. Little extra kitty storage inside. What? Yep. All right, they're going in, they're not coming out. They hide there forever. <laughs> I think maybe you hide their toys. There, there. you go. I okay. like that.